Welcome to my ugly duckling of a bathroom that I love because it's a blessing from God, but you are getting ready to watch the transformation. My DIY is now in session. As you see, I do it in a very rough manner. I just throw different colors and different items all over so I can kind of envision my vision. Okay, as you can see, I've already cut the piece off. And I'm trying to get the backing off now real quick. Can be a bit of a pain. There you go. See how I fold it to keep it out of my way? All right. Make sure that we're covering on both sides pretty straight. You can overlap the grout line a little bit because as long as you got a, a razor, you're good to go. So you rub it on. You can put the blow dryer on it if you want. That helps it adhere at the beginning really good. All right, now you gotta rub as you go. So I'm gonna grab a little piece of material because that helps eliminate the air pockets. Rub as you go. And you slide it out from underneath as you rub. That eliminates as many air pockets as possible. Now, you go in with the heat, you go over it with your fingers, make sure you don't feel any air popping. It looks like that doesn't have any air pockets, so that's good. Once the contact is positioned correctly, then you can start rubbing it on. The best way to rub on, because my tiles are uneven on this surface, the best way to fill in all those gaps is with a ball of material, balled up tight, and you rub it on. And as you rub it on, you add the heat from the blow dryer to help it adhere stronger. You can also hear if there are any air bubbles in it. You can pop them with a needle. Notice the more heat you put around the edge, it causes the contact to contour around the edge of the tile, which gives it the illusion of a replaced tile rather than contact covering it. And then you just keep rubbing till you feel like you have a real good bond. No air pockets. You can hear them when you have them. It pops while you're rubbing it. All right, that's good enough for now. At least you see what I mean. See how well that's in there? And then I'll take the razor. I'll show you how I take the razor. And I just go up or down the side where there seems to be excess. And when I go down the side, then I just pick it. The tape you see on the surface of the pearls is to keep the whole template together. I had to press everything up real close. I had to kind of piece the pieces so that it would really fit and be cut as close to that sink as possible. And, and the tape keeps it all together as one solid template because it would be a messy job trying to press all those things together while it's sitting on a thin set. Oh my. 
my goodness, how am I going to fit these square tiles around the rounded edged sink? Oh, oh my. By Jove, I think I've got it. The side of the page is the edge of the sink. So I drew the piece so it would fit. I lined it up and then I took the razor and I scored. I just scratch it back and forth, back and forth, scored. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna use two pliers, one here and one here to break it. Hopefully the scoring will give a clean mind. Doesn't always, but hopefully it will. I made the meat right where the line is. And I'm going to try to break it and we'll see what happens. I had to use E6000 in order to lay the tiles that were loose, the, the custom cut ones that I had to fit around the sink. That was the very last thing I did after the template was laid and worked into place and I laid all kind of heavy floor tiles on it to make it level out real nice and even all across the countertop. And after it cured over two or three days, then I came back with the E6000 to, to glue and I just filled the holes that was still, you know, open, those open holes around the sink. And I laid the, the tiles in until they were pretty level with the rest of them. That was the only way I could see to do it because I had no idea what Mama Sita was doing. But it worked. Worked out just fine. Okay, as you see, this needs to be moved over just a little bit. So it's sitting on top of the, the one I cut is sitting on top of a new piece. I'm going to create a new scoring line with the razor. And when I get through, then this cut should be further over this way. And that'll give me a better fit. The smaller piece that I just cut will be used elsewhere for an even smaller piece, so it's not a total waste. Thank you. 